In the last video, we went over how to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. And in doing so, we uh, came up with a general formula for finding the determinant of a two by two matrix. In this video, we'll go through the details of finding the determinant of a n by n matrix in general, using a three by three matrix as a particular example. So to refresh your memory, in the last video, I presented the following formula for the inverse of a matrix. This matrix C was the cofactor matrix, and this uh, number over here was the determinant of matrix A. For finding the determinants of matrices that are bigger than two by two, we need a different formulation than what was presented for two by two matrices. So what we're interested in is finding the determinant of a three by three matrix. And one of the reasons we want to do this is because the formula for the inverse holds for matrices, for square matrices of any size. So we have the following matrix. All right, and once again, I will give you the formula or the algorithm for calculating the determinant of an n by n matrix without really telling you where it comes from, and then show you how to use it with this example. So the general algorithm for calculating determinants is called the Laplace expansion or Laplace development. And it can be expressed compactly in two different ways. So I'll write it down first and then explain what these formulas mean. Okay, over here, just to refresh your memory, the symbol was shorthand for being equal to one if i is equal to k or zero if i is not equal to k. And similarly for different indices. And this is called the Kronecker Delta. All right, so what these equations are saying is to calculate the determinant of a matrix, you multiply the element at the uh, intersection of the minor, uh, of the rows that you're eliminating to calculate the minor of the matrix and you multiply that by the corresponding cofactor. And you sum across the columns uh, of your matrix for a particular row. This expression is similar, but it allows you to sum over the rows for a particular column. And this current delta, what it's doing is saying that if you accidentally multiply the elements of one row by the cofactor of another row, then you get zero. All right, so with this one, you move across columns 
for a particular row. And this one, you move across rows for a particular column. All right, so let's see what this means in practice with our three by three, by three matrix. So we'll use this as an example, and then you can test this formula out for yourself. So we're going to pick the first row and move across the columns of the first row. So this tells us to first multiply the cofactor by the element at the intersection of the rows and columns that you eliminate to find the minor. So the first one is, uh, because we're looking at the first row, you cross out the first row and the first column, which leaves you with the element A11. The minor of this element is given by you have your factor of minus one to the power of one plus one plus the cofactor of this element. So remember the cofactor is found by eliminating this row, sorry, this column and this row and finding the determinant of that sub matrix. In this case, you're left with finding the determinant of the following matrix. All right, and we went over the last video how to calculate determinants for two by two matrices. The next element, because we're moving across columns in the first row, you cross out the first row and now you moved on to the second column. So the element at the intersection of those two is A12. And then you multiply that by the minor, which in this case is minus one, one plus two times the determinant of the sub matrix found by eliminating the second column and the first row over here. So that's A21, A23, A31, and A33. All right, and then finally, we add to that the product of the element at the intersection of the first row and third column. So that's A13 and multiply that by the minor. So you have your usual factor of minus one to the power of one plus three times the determinant of the sub matrix found by eliminating the first row and the third column. So the determinant of this sub matrix over here, that's A21, A22, A31, and A32. All right, so that's the determinant. If you calculate this out, you will find the determinant of this matrix. You can, you're free to choose a different row. You can choose the second row and eliminate the columns accordingly. Or using this equation, you can choose a particular column and move across different rows. There's a shortcut for finding the determinant that works for three by three matrices only. All right, so it's very important that you remember that this only works for three by three matrices. And the way you do it is by the following mnemonic device. So you write out your matrix. I'm trying to find the determinant of that. And what you do is you rewrite the, the first two columns outside of uh, these lines. And this is just a visual aid for the computation. And then what you can do is uh, take the product of the elements along this diagonal. Add to that the product of the elements along this diagonal. We have A12, A23, A31, 
and then add to that the product of the elements along this diagonal over here. You have A13, A21, A32. From this, you need to subtract uh, the following. So you take the product of the elements along this diagonal. So you have A13, A22, A31. You add to that the product of the elements along this diagonal. You have A11, A23, and A32. And then finally, you add the product of the elements along this diagonal, which gives you A12, A21, and A33. Okay, and you can check that uh, this uh, matches what you would get if you were to perform the full Laplace expansion. Again, this is only valid for three by three matrices. If you have anything bigger than that, you need to follow the algorithm laid out by these equations over here.